Recently, sea acceptance testing of the latest version of the Spearfish torpedo was achieved on board a Vanguard-class submarine during three days of trials off the coast of Scotland. It is the first time the next-generation Spearfish has been tested on a Vanguard-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine and means the boats are now able to meet the latest threats when at sea. Spearfish has been the silent service's weapon of choice for nearly 30 years, capable of destroying frigates, destroyers, and large warships, as well as hostile submarines. These firings continue to be a major step in ensuring the Royal Navy's Spearfish torpedoes remain ready to face the latest threats, said Commodore Chris Goodsell. This modernized and improved variant, known as Spearfish Mod 1, features a new warhead, a safer fuel system, a smarter electronic brawn and a fiber-optic guidance link with its parent submarine to improve its accuracy and lethality. The trials underscored the performance with the ability to integrate the new torpedo with the combat system of an operational submarine. The Vanguard-class submarines are powered by a Rolls-Royce PWR-2 nuclear reactor, which has double the service life of previous models and allows the submarines to circumnavigate the world 40 times without refueling. The submarine's propulsion system includes two GEC steam turbines linked to a single-shaft pump jet propulsor providing a maximum submerged speed of over 25 knots. Each submarine is armed with 16 Trident 2D-5 missiles, although current operational practices typically involve loading fewer missiles. The Trident missiles are equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs, capable of carrying nuclear warheads to targets over 7,000 kilometers away. In addition to ballistic missiles, these submarines are also equipped with spearfish torpedoes for defense against underwater and surface threats. The Vanguard-class submarines are integral to the UK's continuous at-sea deterrent CASD, strategy, ensuring that at least one submarine is always on patrol. These submarines are approaching the end of their operational life and are set to be replaced by the new Dreadnought-class submarines starting in the early 2030s. The transition to the Dreadnought-class will maintain the Trident missile system, ensuring the continuation of the UK's strategic nuclear deterrent capabilities. The Spearfish Mod 1 is an upgraded version of the original Spearfish torpedo, developed as part of a £270 million program launched in 2009 to keep it effective as the Royal Navy's primary conventional weapon in its submarine fleet. The upgrade project, which began in 2010, aimed to improve virtually every aspect of the torpedo, particularly given the current limited anti-ship weaponry in the British surface fleet. Key improvements in the Mod 1 include an advanced homing system and a high-bandwidth fiber-optic data link, which allows the torpedo to be wire-guided by commands from the submarine's combat system. This command wire, capable of extending up to at least 30 kilometers, permits changes in target, depth, and range restrictions, and enables it to ignore countermeasures. The submarine's sonar suite, being more sensitive and discerning than the torpedoes, enhances guidance accuracy. If the wire is severed, the torpedo will continue its mission autonomously based on the last programmed parameters and can use its active sonar if necessary. The Mod 1 uses more modular components for easier maintenance and future upgrades. The warhead has been replaced with a safer insensitive munition from TDW, which is resistant to shock, blast, heat, and fire.
Additionally, the dual fuel auto HAP system in the gas turbine engine has been replaced by a single auto the second fuel cell, providing safer and more reliable propulsion. Extensive deep water trials have validated these improvements, and the Mod 1 is set to be fully operational by 2025, with an expected service life extending into the 2050s. The Vanguard-class submarines are a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, operated by the Royal Navy and are the sole platforms for the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons after the decommissioning of the Royal Air Force's WE.177 freefall thermonuclear weapons in 1998. Introduced in the 1990s, they were designed to replace the Polaris-equipped Resolution class. The class includes four submarines, HMS Vanguard, Victorious, Vigilant, and Vengeance. These submarines were constructed between 1986 and 1999 by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, now Bay Systems Submarines, at Barrow in Furness. They are the largest submarines ever built for the Royal Navy, displacing nearly 16,000 tons, and were specifically designed to carry the UGM-133 Trident II ballistic missiles, which serve as the United Kingdom's nuclear deterrent.